Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Dining at the Arbors. I'm your host G and today we have a special guest. We are joined by the Arbors number one cook, Derek Law. So Rachel's on vacation this week. So we got the we got the A1 sub to come in today and get it going for us today. So Derek, just let them know what we're gonna make for them today. Today we're gonna be making apple turnovers. Good. So we got some puff pastries, some fresh apples, and uh, let's do it to it. Let's get it going. So where do you want to start? Alright, so let's get uh, the, the pot on the heat first. Okay. Got a nice flame going. Alright, you're gonna do like medium high heat. Okay. And then G earlier cut us up some apples. Yep. I diced them up real nice and small because we want to try to make sure we get a nice amount of apples into the turnovers. And you can hold them in some water to keep them from turning so brown. Mm -hmm. Alright, so put a little square of butter in there. You got that. Okay. Alright, we'll put our, some of our apples in. You want to hear that sizzle? Mm. That sizzle sounds so nice. Look at that. You hear that? Awesome. Mm. Beautiful. I'm going to saute those for a little bit. Okay. Just let them out for a little bit. You want the apples to break down a little bit. You don't want mush, but you still want a little bite to it, but you want to just break down a little bit. Okay. Let them go a little bit. Alright, so as I saute, I'm going to get my stuff ready here. We got some sugar mm -hmm. that's going to help caramelize everything. And got some cinnamon for flavor. And got a little bit of uh, vanilla. That, that's that secret taste that you're gonna get. It brings out everything a little bit more. Nice. Okay. Let that cook a little bit. Alright, so okay. let's give that a minute. Mm hmm the Smell is definitely coming through with the apples. I'm loving it. While you're cooking your apples, you can lay out your puff pastry. Yeah. We did it ahead of time. We have a sheet pan here. Correct. You gotta fit this piece of paper down. Lay your puff face, you thaw out a little bit, that way you can work with it. Otherwise, when you go fold it over, it might break on you. Okay. Alright, so now that these sauteed a little bit, we're gonna throw in some sugar. That's about one fourth cup of sugar that we're using. I'm gonna spin that around and keep stirring that while we have the ingredients. You can also use some brown sugar too, it'll we'll, we'll bring out some nice flavors. Mm. We got Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. A little teaspoon of vanilla. You don't want to reduce that down. Okay. That flavor's coming through the steam right now as it's going. It smells so good, guys. Yeah. It's going to be a tasty afternoon. Yes. We love. Feeling you guys sweet <laughs> That's beautiful. Alright, so while that's cooking down, mm -hmm. simmering. Make sure you got your pastry ready. Can I take our egg here? A very large bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for safety purposes. <laughs> 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 we're, gonna, we're gonna whisk this up. This is for a, a little egg wash on top of the pastry. It's gonna help brown up. All right, how's that looking? It's looking really good right now. Smelling incredible. All right, yeah. So. Basically, you just want to cook it down, let it, it's going to thicken up a little bit, mm -hmm. get nice brown, and we can shut it off. Uh, let's see, did we grab a spoon? Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Be right down, get a spoon that we have right here. Alright, so we'll take a spoonful of our apple filling, mm -hmm. put it right towards the middle, like one side. Make sure to pick something hard for Rachel to make next week. That's right. Okay. It's 
smells so good, guys. So we're gonna take our puff pastry and we're just gonna fold it over. Triangular? Yeah, triangular works nice. And then just press the edges a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not too hard, you don't wanna smush it down. Cause it is gonna bake in the oven. So it's gonna rise in the oven. Okay. So you wanna make sure you're make trying a nice to seal. Little, little pocket for it. Seal it, but try to be as very, very careful with it as possible. You just want to seal it up to get it. It's going to rise when you bake it in the oven. Yeah, just kind of pinch it with your fingers a little bit. But even if you have a fork, you can pinch it down with a fork on the end just to seal it. All right, now we're just going to take a little bit of our egg wash here and put our egg wash over the top. Mm. That's, that's just going to help the puff pastry just brown up really nice. It's going to look beautiful. If you don't egg wash it, it's, it's not going to have that same not brown to it. Not a lot, just, just a little over the top. Mm. Just a little shine. Alright. Mm. Then we're going to just bake that in the oven. What would be the bake time on this right here? About 10 minutes, maybe 350 in your home oven. Okay. We got the convection oven, so we always go a little bit lower. And with the magic of TV, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. with the magic of TV, we have four already prepared for you guys. Yeah, and if you're home, you, know, you can sprinkle these with you know, some topping, a little glaze, mm -hmm. chocolate, whatever you like. Caramel, whatever you like. Even just some powdered sugar is nice on top. You guys, again, these are apple turnovers, freshly made for you guys. And again, we hope you enjoy them today. They will be featured for your snack today coming this afternoon. And again, if you have any other questions, opinions, if you have any ideas that you want to see us make anything on the show that you guys would love, just let the girls know, let our boss know. And again, we thank you for supporting and watching this show. On behalf of Derek, G, you guys have a great afternoon, and we'll see you next week, as always. Take care, be blessed.